All right, cool. So where's the news at? I got something that I just read and I wanted to save it for this chat too. Way forward, new DLC for River City Girls too. I don't know if anybody's ever played River City Girls or played beat em ups or a fan of beat em ups like me. I love beat em ups. But Way Forward has just announced their DLC package for River City Girls 2, starring Bimmy and Jimmy. And I'm super fucking pumped. Uh, Way Forward, yeah, I agree with you, Liga. They're an awesome developer, you know. Um, they just dropped Contra. Contra's an old school NES game, you know, back in the day when shit was hard and we couldn't win at anything. Every once in a while they have a hit and a slip. But I'm hoping, because I enjoyed River City Girls 2 so much, that this new addition to Billy and Jimmy are going to be just with the Doctor Order, because I've been waiting, waiting for a good Double Dragon game. And I feel so bad that I'm in love with such a game that doesn't really get the right treatment. Let's jump into it really quick, let's play it, and I'll shut up now. Hey Billy! Yes, Jimmy? <laughs> did you see this so-called announcement from Way Forward? I did not. Also, what is way forward? I don't know, but they claim What the fuck is up with their designs? Bimmy and Jammy are joining the River City crew. Good for them. Or not. You seem perturbed. Well, I think it's time Oh, these are the game grumps. Dragon Bros to hit the streets of River City. Literally. Literally? You want us to punch the pavement beneath your feet? <laughs> I want to punch every There you go. Get ready for Billy and Jimmy Lee. Playable soon in River City Girls 2. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And is that it? It's a bit chilly today. I'm not even listening to the dialogue. What did they say? Playable soon in River City Girls 2. Okay, so it should be coming soon. That's it? Wow. I got so many questions right now. All right, first, before we go to the website, this is River City Girls 2. This is the whole cast of characters. I'm a Maria main right there. Maria was from Double Dragon 2. But these two, what the fuck is up with these designs, though? I hope they're not going to be looking like this in the game. Oh, Bimmy and Jammy. They actually fucked up Jimmy's name, too. <laughs> Bimmy and Jammy. And they still have the same voice cast, too, with the Game Grumps. Literally. Literally. I love the music. Punch the pavement beneath our feet. I want to punch everything. Get ready for Billy and then they Jimmy. changed. Playable soon in River City Girls 2. Okay, guys, this is the design that I know in the game River City Girls 2. Because when you play the game, these two are shopkeepers. Bim, Bimmy and Jimmy are shopkeepers. They're like dojo keepers. No, not they're, not they're not shop. They're like dojo keepers. They teach you new moves. And what I really love about this is that they're both of their personalities are totally different. You know, Jimmy's the hothead, and then Billy's like this really zen, peaceful dude. I hope to God they look like this, because I don't know what the f that is. <laughs> it looks like Ninja Turtles if they were human. It's like it's like they got this crazy Bobo design, which is... I'm not feeling it. I don't know. But then they turn into their, their final forms here, which maybe that's in the game? Oh god, I can't wait. I gotta learn a little bit more about this too. The legendary Billy and Jimmy return as playable characters this summer. It, it is summer. It's hot as hell outside. You know, people are in the pool. You know, like the, 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 the birds have come to attack my house. I didn't know we had a bird problem here in Northern California. Birds are like making their nest all them up in my neighborhood and f***ing shit up. Yeah, it's summer, guys. Where the hell are these characters? Billy and Jimmy Lee are joining the cast in the open world beat em up River City Girls 2 as downloadable content. I wonder, I hope it's free. This legendary martial artists are busting out the dojos and hitting the streets. All platforms, Switch, blah, 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 blah. Premium, okay, so it might cost a little bit. Is expected to arrive this summer. Check out the teaser announcement here. Original debut is 1987. Wow, that was like when I was a baby. With full VO, returning voice actors. Dan, Avidi, and Bill, and Ari Hansen, the, the Game Grumps, from the Game Grumps uh, playthroughs. Yeah, the, the funny guys. In addition to the premium content, a free update will be available to all River City Girls 2 on the Double Dragon theme motion comic. Okay, so we get some free. New accessories, new shops, and more. Content released closer to DLC's release. When's the fucking release? When is it? Announced for River City Girls 2. Do we have anything more on this? Read more? No. I swear, I hope they don't look like this. Why can't they just look cool? Bruh. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Why? Why? What the fuck is 
is this, dude? Like, it looks like they look like Kingpin from Spider Verse. Not only has there never been a decent Double Dragon game after Double Dragon 2, but there's never been a freshly good design Bimmy and Jimmy. You know, why the fuck do they gotta make fun of these characters? Look at this dialogue. Uh -huh, gah. Like, I was super excited, now I'm just slightly pissed off. Oh, wait. Look for the River City Girls 2 did this April. Fools beware. Holy shit, was this an April Fools joke? It says, This April. Fools beware. Oh, man. Oh, no. They're busting my balls on April 1st. What the fuck, wait for it. For those of you guys that don't know, let me take you a, a history trip. Most like anxiety induced NES game that's been out there. The Rosetta Stones. This game was a pile of shit. And like you could not, could not get through the second level. You only had a limited amount of lives, no continues. And whenever you died, you went back to the first uh, level. It's ungodly hard. And then we waited, 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 and Super Double Dragon came out on the SNES, which I did not own. This one came out and I actually got it. I bought the um I bought the Double Dragon Legacy on the Nintendo Switch, and it came it comes with all these games. This game kind of is like is it's it's mixed between critics because one they have like a parry system which is really fun they have two players but billy and jimmy are pretty much echo fighters they both look the same they both play the same they just have different color palettes flash forward to the game boy advance the advance this is probably the pinnacle of what a double dragon game is double dragon advance and just amplified it up to where you have weapons co-op play bobo with an afro right there the sound was great the moves were great you had a parry system you had a combo you leveled up you learned new moves flash forward again to the lesser known double dragon battletoads and the gameplay was shit but the idea was sensational double dragon 4 comes out for the switch directed and produced by the same guy who originally did the first two and you would think holy crap they're getting the band back together this game is going to be fun uh -uh. uh uh no this game was the shits it was such a step back from what they did for the second one which was probably the best one of all time i guess they were just trying to produce this project on a shoestring budget and get some kind of publicity. But I played this and I could tell you there's more platforming in this game than there is fighting. And the platforming is horrendous. The characters are slow, gravity doesn't even match to how you're feeling when you jump. It's the same design as Double Dragon 2, same characters. The music's okay, but the gameplay is just god awful. This is kind of like the curse that follows every Double Dragon game. Oh, have I mentioned the Double Dragon movie? Anyway, Way Forward comes on the scene, right? And these guys are like, hey, we love Double Dragon, we love beat em ups. Let's make a game called Double Dragon Neon. It's a 3D fighter, 3D beat em up. Is it good? Some people like it. I unfortunately don't. This game like took the cheesiness that did Batman and Robin dirty and injected it into this game. You basically fight uh, you basically fight Skeletor in this game and he sounds like Skeletor too. Even though the art was swell and way forward understands beat em ups. But dude, like what is up with this? River City Girls 1 and 2 are fantastic games. They really are. And the way they make these guys look doesn't give me hope. I'm still going to play it, but I'm just not a fan of these designs. I'm hoping it's April Fool's. I'm hoping like somewhere around the second first story plot like they get like their old designs back or they drink some something that just like turns them back or the game's like April like a fucking Deadpool April Fool's joke and just says gotcha gotcha I want that way forward I want this I want those guys not whatever this is 
we don't even know when this game's coming out. It probably it's it, it the launch got on April first, so I'm easy to be fooled. I'm a sucker. I'm easily fooled into shit like this. But I still have faith. WayForward's a fantastic developer, and I'm really looking forward to this. I'm gonna play it regardless, either way, and give you my review because I'm just that big of a fan. So WayForward, you got me. But at the same time, piss on this. <laughs>